Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome to Rebel Ink Escalation Custom Scenarios. Today we're gonna try out a scenario that's actually the first of a series of eight scenarios. It's called Breaking Stalemate. Now I'm probably not gonna be playing all eight unless this one is absolutely outstanding and it might be. I mean, this scenario was recently spotlighted by the developer in one of their sort of uh, scenario of the month kind of spotlights. So I have a lot of hope for this one. But uh, let's just start with the first and see how it goes. This is written by Undefined. The war has lasted for three years now. The enemy isn't backing down, and so aren't you. However, the battle has evolved into a war of attrition, and many people aren't happy with this. You need to convince people the war will end soon. Are you up for the job? Uh, maybe. I hope so. We're playing as a general. Okay, so hopefully that means we're going to get a lot of national soldiers we can work with. We have doctor, tribal elder, celebrity, tax collector, chef, and logistics expert. All of that should be fine. Unless we want to go for something like Tactician, uh, Bill Garrison's faster, could be nice. You know what, we don't play with the uh, Engineer very often. Let's go for that guy. We're gonna go for the Garrison's faster. All right, normal difficulty, and we'll call this one Soft Excavator. That's a good name, I like that name. The war is in stalemate. The locals are starting to protest. You know the enemy is losing ground, you just need to convince the locals to hold on a bit longer. Okay, um, where do we set up our HQ? Well, we could set up in the green. This is one of those things where it's entirely possible that uh, there's going to be uh, um, a lot of ambushes around on this side of the river. We'll find out. I'm going to go ahead and do a forward base, and let's pray that it's not too bad. Nope, it's bad. Okay. Um, great. And there are insurgents right off the bat. Uh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all um, right. We did start off with some garrisons, a few of them over here. So these are all in pretty good spots. There's two oil derricks over here that are going to get grabbed by the insurgents right away. That's really, really bad because a single oil derrick being in their control makes them much much stronger. We have minefields along the road. That's going to slow me down. A couple blockades on these guys here. And, oh god, tunnels. Right. Okay, there's tunnels in every mountain tile. Oh no, it's a tunnel scenario. These are my bane. I hate tunnels. They're not very fun to play with. Alright. Super combat tactics. Years of war developed. New tactics soldiers use in the war. And the stalemate. Uh, all out assault. Misspelled there. Insurgents will launch everything they've got at you. Hold on and push them back. You need to set teams to or authorize projects. I don't know what that means. Insurgents have set traps in every town and tunnels in every mountain. Yeah, lovely. Lack of stability takes a long time before coming into effect. Okay, that's good at least. And then some soldiers are already in training. I do see that. That's interesting. All right, so what do we do as far as our initiatives? No civilian initiatives. Governments. We have intel and propaganda team. Oh, these are the teams. Oh, got it. Okay. Corruption, outreach, local police force. Got it. Military. We have national coalition, stronger national, an extra soldier, translators, urban soldiers, mega tanks. If you're starting me off with tanks really early on, we're probably going to need these right off the bat, aren't we? Air support, full control, lose reputation, reconnaissance, lose reputation, uh, extra garrisons, might need that, training grounds, train them faster. Honestly, if they have this much ground to start with, we may have to invest in this. And that leads to advanced training tactics, which speeds them up even further. Tempting, um, but instead, let's go for some anti-corruption. There is effective procurement. I'll grab you. What's this? Civilian support program. I don't know what that does. It's a new service, apparently. It's free, so I'll grab it. Outreach teams unlocks infrastructure. We could also speed up the initiative rollout. Effective procurement, I'm guessing, reduces corruption even further, but it increases costs of everything. That seems terrible. Anti-corruption, we're already kind of high on inflation, so we'll pass on that. Infrastructure. Oh, there it is. Refugee camps. That's a good amount of support, considering. Not bad. Telecoms, roads, probably will need all of those at some point. We have justice. Actually, it's a different text than usual. Commit to establish a law and enforce justice to everyone else. Increase the support, but make some decisions worse. Don't know what that's going to mean yet. Um, extra soldiers, I think we go ahead and immediately start training. As long as you got two of each type, it should be fine. Let's get those coalition soldiers out and running. We need to start clearing out the ambushes and some minefields ASAP. Or we're going to be in a really, really rough spot. I'd actually love to clear this area out, but two ambushes is probably more than I can handle. We need to clear this area out and defend the oil derricks. Or we're going to be in for a really rough time. They're going forward immediately. Of course they are! Oh, God. Alright, so oil derricks to defend in difficult deserts plus lots of tunnels, equals this is going to be really unpleasant, isn't it? Probably. Um, let's go for some roads. We want to move people around a lot faster, because I'm pretty sure that's going to be key, is just having mobility. 
And also, wait, can we not train more regular coalition soldiers, only tanks? That's not good. There had better be a lot of national soldiers in this scenario. Um, yep, they got the oil derricks and they're going for another already. They're moving really fast, considering. <laughs> this isn't good. Uh, could go for advanced training tactics. Might need to go for the tank. It's going to eliminate some support level, but let's just do it. I need, I need more troops. This is already going to be too much for me to handle. Already uncontrollable. And they're going for garrisons. All right. Well, let's go ahead and clear out the city. We should be able to move here pretty quickly. We need to clear out things at the minefields and stuff. Um, so we got rid of a minefield there. Let's move you here. Get rid of this. Then probably clear out this minefield. Then we can worry about the strongholds. Uh, so let's do that. We can go for faster trained units. I'm probably going to go ahead and do that, honestly, just because... Oh, there we go. We need these guys quickly. So we've got a lot more boots on the ground all of a sudden. That's great. We need to clear these out. So let's first off move you here because we have enough reinforcements around. I think you can handle whatever this ambush is. You can go grab the remote specialist before they use the tunnels to snag it from me. And then we'll have a little bit of extra strength to start pushing through the desert, I hope. Uh, shared Air Force or a new Air Force? A new Air Force would be amazing if I can get it. We're going to need as much national strength as possible. So these guys, I think, instantly died. So the tank, being a mega tank, uh, apparently doesn't let them retreat. That's actually really good to know. These guys are struggling over here. Um, nothing I can do at the moment, though. Uh, all right, new Air Force. Make these guys stronger. If they don't give me a more than, like, four um, coalition soldiers, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Or, sorry, not coalition, national soldiers. Uh, it means that we're going to need a surge event in order to survive this. When you have this many tunnels, you need too many troops in order to contain them, especially because tanks cannot go into the mountains. So it's borderline impossible at that point to actually contain the insurgents. This could become a really, really unpleasant, unfun scenario very quickly, but we'll see. Let's get some refugee camps so I can get some support level. I probably need to get some anti-corruption going. It's a little bit high at the moment. And let's immediately start pushing into the desert. Uh, in fact, I'm going to move the do air oil derrick there, and I'm going to move you up here so we can get some reinforcements. Let's make sure that we win some of these fights, if at all possible. Okay, the tank's doing its thing. Boom, boom. Take that away from them. Thank you. Okay, so we snag that. Probably will want to build garrisons, but let's get anti-corruption first. Um, justice and law, I guess I'll grab you. I don't know what they mean by make some decisions worse. That scares me a little bit. Okay, so these guys died because there was a blockade, so that's a pretty good number of enemies gone. Should be able to clear this out, no problem. Let's send the tank over here. I actually think that maybe we should get a garrison and place it right here. Good central location, defend the derrick. Maybe. Uh, move you here. Move you somewhere. Okay, they're going for my derrick, so we need to go this way. So we can defend that for sure. If I can push these guys out, I'd like to. Mm, let's see what we can do over here. Subtle pressure. Do I have foreign relations? I don't. So I have no idea how that's going to work. Let's get the uh, garrisons I was talking about. We have the engineer anyway, so like we should be able to do that. Publicly accused, there's nothing I can do here. It's going to go badly. Where's my garrisons option? Hello? Oh, we have to do this too. Gain money? Weird. All right, I'll take free money. Why not? My corruption's still high. Um, okay. Sort of surprising. I'm going to place a garrison right over here. I need $4. Hang on, we can do that in a second. There we go. Place. Uh, we need to fight these guys out of here. Okay, they're going for this as well. Oh, gosh, they're starting to spread out. I need more units. My corruption's too high. <sighs> okay, hang on. Forget the intel for a second. Get over here. Defend this. Kick them out. Um, if I move the tank here and then move you here, we can prevent these guys from retreating anywhere, I think. And that'll be important. So let's try to get these guys to retreat into one area. Then we'll use the tank to finish them off. Never mind, that didn't work. We're going to move you up here instead. No, wait. Oh, gosh dang it. Um, all right, this is already getting out of control a little bit here. Hang on. Move you here. Swap you. Move you here. They retreated, which means if we do this, we can probably catch out the largest of the groups. The tank moves fast. My regular soldiers are moving slowly, and that's kind of one of the things that's throwing me off a little bit. Um, all right, so what else can we do here? Uh, we could start training up more units. I'm going to go ahead and do that, even though it's very high corruption, and that's a problem. Save the derricks. They're already moving into mountains over here. Not surprising. 
Uh, they moved into the garrison. You're not supposed to be able to retreat into a garrison, so I'm guessing these guys didn't retreat and they just attacked it. They better have, otherwise that's just, like, literally not supposed to happen. Um, we'll move you here, move you here. If we can get there fast enough, anyway. Okay, these guys all died. Found a camp, that's huge. Military-grade logistics, move them faster. Could be nice, but my corruption's still too high. Look how high this corruption is. It's not going down very fast. For three levels of corruption, this should be going down way faster than this. I'm a little bit concerned, actually. That's that's indicates to me that something may actually be going on in the background I'm not aware of. We'll do a counter-strike because I still don't know where foreign relations are, if they're even in this scenario. Uh, tanks, we're going to send down over here and try to clear these guys out before they can get too much value out of this. Um, I would love to kill all of these guys, and we can try to do that in a minute, but let's let's deal with this first. At least I have a pretty good amount of reputation. So if we can surround some of these guys and keep them away from these derricks, get them out of this desert, then we can focus over here where we really need to. Uh, how quickly are we getting garrisons? Not very quickly, even with the gar uh, the engineer. That's not good. Um, gosh, I still need to get that gar the uh, corruption down. What else can we do? We can do propaganda. Let's do that. Ooh, okay. PR would be worth a pretty hefty amount of support level. Let's send you here, you here, you here. We're going to clear out this group so that we don't have to worry about them. Then we'll send some troops to clear out this group so we don't have to worry about them. Then we can focus on pushing them out of mountains. And honestly, we want to give them somewhere to retreat that's not a mountain so we can contain them there and keep them away from tunnels. It's the only way to win this scenario. This is going to be really rough, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, all right, let's get that PR media office so I can start stabilizing some regions. Okay, so these guys are all going to be arriving in a minute. We'll finish off this group. We have to do some extensions for our coalition soldiers. Don't think I have a choice. That's cleared out. Move you here, move you here, move you... Actually, that should be enough with the garrison being what it is. So let's start moving you here. You here. We're going to start pushing into mountains and clearing some of these guys out if we can. I need to defend my oil derricks, of course. I've lost a pretty hefty amount of reputation already. Um, let's make these guys faster and then probably stronger. That's not too much corruption all in all. I need strong national soldiers. These guys retreated at just the right time. Are you kidding me? Oh, good lord. All right. Retreat somewhere I can control, please. Actually, he died. That's even better. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Do that. Do that again. Uh, all right. So, let's see. Soldiers here and here. If these guys are cleared out, and I'm hoping they are, they're not. Hang on. Let's reinforce this. Once this area is cleared out, then we push forward to get them out of these mountains. Defend the derricks for your, with your life. Okay, um, wow, expand refugee camps is worth a lot. Let's do that. And, uh, strategic communications would get me a lot, but I need to get even more anti-corruption, so we'll pick that up. Why don't we have these guys under control yet? Okay, they've retreated, perfect. Now we move you here, these guys are going to get absolutely destroyed. They're not leaving the mountains over here, that's great. For now, anyway, because it means I don't have to defend very many areas. Once we get these guys cleared out, I hope. However, them spawning here is unfortunate. Hang on. How do we contain this? Because these guys can retreat in a lot of different directions. Answer, we pull back with them. We pray that they don't go into the desert. Maybe if I leave some ground open here, they go this way. How did these guys appear? There's no camp. They shouldn't have been able to appear here. Please tell me this isn't another one of those scenarios where, like, enemies just, like, phantomly appear. I could see that happening. Oh god, I'm already I'm already getting a little salty. I can feel it. The second I see that many tunnels, I'm going to start feeling angry. <laughs> Let's roll out initiatives faster, including some roads and stuff. They're already leaving this area. Gosh, dang you all. Too heck. Okay, please retreat into the mountains. No, they they went for the derricks. All right, I actually just forgot that there was a blockade here, so that actually makes my life easier. Um, all right, we have to go and defend this city, so we'll do that. We're going to move you over here. Maybe there's a way we can corral them into blockade areas or something. I don't know. Can I train any more national soldiers? No. All right, let's speed them up then. Um, and blockade checkpoints so that garrisons prevent them from taking over zones like this very quickly. My units are still moving really slowly, despite the fact that there's no minefields. And we should have a couple of buffs making it faster. All right, these guys had to retreat. Good. We should defend this oil derrick. Let's do that. This has been cleared out. 
thank you. That's huge. All right, let's think about this. How are we going to force them to go to an area that's easy for me to defend and keep them away from the tunnels? I don't know. I suppose one thing we could do is actually go for a police force. And with militia... Actually, I forgot that people have civilian interests. So let's go for some education and stuff. Um, with militia, maybe we can just make it harder for them to take over zones, which gives me some time to respond. Maybe. But the thing is, I want to pull my troops off of this, but if we do to go and attack over here, there's a good chance they just retreat in this direction. And this is where things start to become insane, because I need to clear this out, but to do so, I have to spread my troops out too thin, and we won't be able to do the same thing over here. You guys see where this is going to become really difficult? We kind of have to place down garrisons, like, in the mountains to prevent them from retreating in this area. Or something. Okay, hang on. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, I'm going to move you here, you here, you here. I'm going to let them retreat into this area where I can corral them and kill them using my tank. We need to figure out where this subtle pressure thing is, by the way, for our foreign relations office, because that's going to be an issue. Good news is these guys have nowhere to retreat. Uh, we'll do another counter strike, so they cut their support. Okay, so we're going to clear this area out pretty quickly. They are retreating in this direction. Perfect. Let's send coalition troops to continue corralling them this way. And then we send out the tank so that they are going to go to their deaths. There's a camp. All right, we'll clear that out. I'm trying to figure out how best to approach this. Tunnels are just so unpleasant. Let's go for some strategic communications. Oh, there's foreign relations. Okay, we need to pick that up at some point too. All right, so these guys don't need to be here anymore. We're actually in an okay spot, believe it or not. Let's go for water and more education, since that's something people have been asking for. We should definitely meet their needs. Let's also get healthcare. Uh, we're having some trouble over here, weirdly enough. Okay, well, we can go and clear this out, I suppose. Tanks? Yeah, there's nothing to let our tanks go in mountains. That would have been too convenient, wouldn't it? Let's pull the tank back for a minute. I'm going to encourage them to uh, back off in this direction. Hopefully they retreat. We'll see. Uh, we can go for stronger garrisons. Um, national fighting. We can get more tanks. Let's get the foreign relations before I forget. Business security unlocks economy. It's free, so I guess I'll pick it up. And that's how you get the development discussions. I don't really know why there needs to be more um, teams and stuff. Because you already have to spend money on these discussions and stuff. This could have been my teams rather than something in the government to take up even more of my money. But oh well, that's fine. Alright, let's get over here and kill out another group. At least my mega tank quickly kills these guys off. That's pretty huge. All right. Um, more health care. And honestly, dirt roads. We need to start rolling people out and moving them faster. Okay, these guys are going to retreat. Never mind, they all died. Okay. So we have to leave troops on some of these areas. I need to surround mountains with tunnels and prevent them from retreating over here. Somehow. So the next thing to do will be what? Try to clear out these mountains until we can stabilize sufficiently. I mean, we've got rid of all the rogue outposts, so peace deals are now possible. Maybe it's just impossible to win this without a peace deal, you think? Well, that could be. All right. Um, so we'll leave troops over here to prevent these guys from using tunnels, hopefully. These guys die. That's good. There's subtle pressure. We can finally make use of it. The tank, unfortunately, doesn't have very much to do. Should be told what we should be doing is probably just using troops to fight up over here in these mountains. Let's do this. And the tank just sits back to clear guys out whenever they run. Uh, these guys might die. Is this one of those scenarios where um, if your units die, they actually stay dead and you have to like buy new ones? I'll bet you it is. If that's the case, we actually can't fight this. Hold up. We just got to have these guys contained then. There's nothing we can do. Oh, good lord. All right, hang on. What else? What else? What else? Um, 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 security. Lots of it. And I can't get... Can I get more anti-corruption? Because my corruption is still really high. We can threaten them. Only three reputation? I should start with ten. Well, that's not good. Okay, um, I need garrisons. If I could get a lot of garrisons, this scenario would become more manageable as a result. But for some reason, they didn't want to do that. Uh, can we try to maybe clear out this area? At least clear out one mountain here. 
Long extension? I guess we do it. We have enough reputation. As long as these guys keep dying so they don't run anywhere, that's fine. So this is easy enough. We'll win this fight. So these guys die. Good. Then yeah, all we do is hold them back here in this mountain. I'm gonna need airstrikes. But I'm gonna have to lose reputation to do that. Unless we can just get a lot of support and they start falling apart on their own. Let's get telecommunications. Let's get some corruption purge. And... Let's get a local market so that garrisons make people happier and also national training facility. That's a lot of insurgents here. That is a lot, and I can't use my tanks. We have to use reinforcements to take this out. But I can't pull any units off for reinforcements because then I expose them to mount, uh, tunnels and this gets out of control. So basically, we have to keep them corralled long enough that we get all these zones stabilized and with enough police that even if we do pull off the mountains, they can't take over a zone. That's the only way this is now going to work. Yeah, this 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 is gonna suck. Um, roads, telecoms, build up that support level. And let's also pray that the coalition soldiers don't drain too much of my reputation. Also, we could get another tank. Um, that doesn't do me a lot of good. But, if there are more coalition troops hidden behind here, I need to know that. So we'll see. Anyone need anything? Telecoms. Well, I'm already working on that. There's the intel. How strong are you? 378 strength? Are you insane? That is impossible to beat. Even with the tanks, I'm not sure that's possible to beat. Good God. Yeah, I don't know what we do about this. I have no idea what we do about this. Try to encourage them to leave this zone and go here? Maybe, but then they'll just, use, ah, they'll just use the tunnels. Can we get up over here and at least push them out of one of these mountains so that maybe they go this way and I can just start trickling them out and then killing them with the tank? Let's threaten them again. They're going to get even stronger. Let's hope we can win this fight. Mm, not, not really, no. Okay, another long extension. Oh, God. All right, coalition troops instead. Can you win that fight? Let us fund the military. I need stronger units. I need garrisons, for sure. Or we're not going to be able to win this. I just saw some units, like, die. I don't know how that happened. Um, subtle pressure, yes. Long extension, I don't have a choice. Let's get the tank. Okay, there is another coalition soldier. Also, tank driving lessons so that people aren't as hostile. We can do that. If my coalition soldiers die, they don't, but I can't win this fight without reinforcements. So I have to get this. Oh, there's more coalition soldiers. Okay, maybe we have a chance of doing this then. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, we send you here, you here. Reinforce like crazy. Still not go- Oh, wait, nope. Okay, we got it. We held that. We held that. Okay, perfect. So the new thing that we do is we pull you back. I want to surround this, but I need these guys to leave this zone and go into this juicy area right here. We just lost a lot of reputation because apparently we're increasing hostility by a lot. Um, alright, let's get translators to fix that. We'll get civil soldiers and we can reduce hostility so that this isn't an issue. We found a camp, we'll destroy that. Another threat, I guess. Can you guys please leave these mountains and go over here? There's a camp. Hang on, tanks want to go destroy. Go, destroy. There's still way too much strength here. I, I, I don't know how you're going to beat this. I don't know how to get them out of here. 201? It's not as bad as it was. Maybe we can beat it. With enough reinforcements, maybe we can beat it. You think? If I... Where can... Okay, if I pull off troops somewhere, where can I make them retreat in a way that I can get enough reinforcements to actually smash them again? Probably here. I want them to retreat here so I can make use of tanks and stuff to surround this area, push them into blockades, and kill them. With enough reinforcements, we can do that. I think that might be my only real shot. Could be wrong, but that might be my only shot. They've appeared over here. That was gonna happen. We knew that. I don't know if there's any point in actually deploying this tank. The tank isn't useful to me. We're not winning this. I need airstrikes. Let's do it. Airstrikes, munitions, munitions. 
bomb them. Boom. Okay, that makes a difference. There we go. There we go. All right. Tanks get over here. Don't let them do anything with my oil derricks, please. Tank over here. Kill them off. I don't like them. There's probably a, must be a camp over here somewhere. They're retreating off in this direction. Definitely a camp somewhere. Uh, we are going to investigate. Increase support level. We are going to apply more subtle pressure. They all retreated over here. That's what we expected. And we're going to threaten them again. And now I need to go over here with the tank and play whack-a-mole for a little bit. All right. So with this done... Now we send, let's say, you here, you here. Then we can actually clear these guys out, I think. I don't know where these guys appeared from, because once again, there shouldn't have been anywhere for them to appear. But the good news is the tanks get a lot of casualties. All right, these guys did retreat. There we go. So now they're in one good spot. Then we bring these tanks down here. We're holding on to all of the mountains. Okay, I think we finally got it, guys. Now it's just a matter of cleanup. This video is already like 25 minutes, so I'm going to jump forward. But because we are preventing these guys from going anywhere, and now we can hold the mountains, they shouldn't be able to spawn a camp over here, which means no longer do I have to play whack-a-mole. Now we play it the normal way and just build up support using civil integration. Finally! Okay, we're just going to go ahead and agree to a peace deal. I used the peace deal to actually farm out some reputations. So we're up to 147 all of a sudden. Woof, what a scenario. Um, yeah, okay, so we got it. <laughs> That's just a bit rough. I really don't like tunnels, man. Now, if there was one tunnel in each mountain range, well, it'd be difficult, but still at least manageable. They can pop up everywhere, but we don't have to divert so many troops. If we had extra coalition troops, or sorry, national soldiers, this would have been a cakewalk. The extra coalition troops, I'm glad we found them, because I wouldn't have gone for the extra tank. But once we got past the second tank and we found a bunch of extra troops, that changed everything. So the troops exist. The way of beating the scenario definitely exists. It's not as bad as I thought it was there. It's just a bit rough, and if you don't know what to look for, you're probably going to have to retry this again and again. It's a good scenario. It's still worth a thumbs up. I just don't like tunnels. Five stars. Yay, that's great. All right, well, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.